Hey guys, this is Daniel Sombrano, and today I'm going to show you how to use this type of bag. It's a, uh, well, you can call it an uppercut bag, but it's an old school, ghetto style uppercut bag. Usually, the difference between this bag and the kind of bag that you use to hang on its own is that the one that hangs on its own, what it does is when you hit it, it moves around a lot. And there's nothing wrong with that if you want to learn more about how to move your footwork and get you know get your hands up and have the bag hit you and what have you and have it spin around or whatever. Um, that's one way you know it can be used. But if you want to develop power, it's kind of hard to hit that bag without it flying all over the place, you know, because it's not solid uh, as far as the structure that it's on. So the best way to do that is to get is get yourself a bag like this and place it against either the wall or a structure like this type of structure here. And then that way, it doesn't move like the other one would. So this one, what we did was we just took an old bag that was being retired and we uh, bring it back to life by, first of all, putting duct tape on it to cover up all the tires and everything that it had on it. And we cut off the old straps because they were falling apart, took it off there, and we just taped it on this side where the zipper's at so that when you throw hooks or what have you, it doesn't hit you on the hand with the zipper. So then we got some cord from uh, Home Depot and we just tied it to the structure. We got an eye bolt, tied it on here, and so that's how we have it set up. It doesn't move very much, okay? Um, you can, again, you can put this against the wall if you have a sturdy wall, so that way it doesn't go through it, and you can hang it through an eye bolt or what have you, so that way it doesn't move. Now, this type of bag here, what you can do with it, once you have it set up, is obviously you can throw your punches, you know, straight punches on here, you can throw elbows on here, you can throw palm heel strikes, you can hit it with hammer fists, okay? You can do up elbows, down elbows, you know? You can shuffle across the side, you throw your hooks, shuffle over, over here to this side, throw hooks over here, you can throw elbows, down elbows, you can develop a lot of your power shots using this bag here. You can also, if you want, throw knees on the bag, and like I said, you can work your elbows really easily using this type of bag. Again, it doesn't move that much, but it's really focusing on developing your power. You can also shoulder butt it, okay? You can head butt it if you choose to, you know? Just be careful with your head not hitting the structure. You might break the structure, right? So the thing is, it will develop your power in any of your shots that you're trying to strengthen, all right? You can develop um, your knees this way. You can develop your forearms and your fists hitting this way. What I would recommend if you're gonna use your fists is to wrap your hands, wear a pair of gloves, you know, like work gloves or whatever, so you don't scrape up your hands on the rope or any of the little cuts here on the on the tape here, so you don't cut your, your knuckles. You know, nothing. You don't want to split your knuckles because it takes a long time to heal up because you're always trying to strike and it always cracks open the scab, and it takes a long time to heal up. So, best thing to do, cover them up so you don't scratch them. You know, wear you know hand wraps around the knuckles or like a pair of leather gardening gloves. You know, get them at Home Depot. Turn them inside out so the soft material is in the hand and the rough or the uh, the lower part is on the outside to hit. I learned that from uh, another martial artist named Bob Orlando. I think very good idea that he had and uh, I took it from him and I like it. It works really well. So when you're hitting the bag, again, you know, do your distancing, check it out, your footwork, move around the bag, use your elbows, use your fists, forearms, you know, you can hit it with your forearms to block, drive in, strike with your forearms, hit with your palm heels, okay, you can do chops, okay, punches, you know, you can sh shoulder butt, you can tackle the bag if you want, you can hit it with your shoulder, there's a lot of very different variations of strikes you can use on this bag, upper body strikes, you know, and again, it's working your power and the bag doesn't give, so it's like hitting into a, a, a solid body of an individual that's maybe bigger, stronger than you. As you train with this, you're going to start learning that driving off the ground is very important and being able to step in and getting your balance when you hit this bag because if you don't, you'll bounce off of it. You'll learn how to sink your weight as you strike it. And it works really well and um, it's different, like I said, than a regular standard hanging um, uppercut bag and it gives you more versatility. And uh, we here at the gym, we use it and it works really well. And like I said, there's a lot of times in the gym, there's a lot of bags that aren't used anymore because they're torn and they're old and they're neglected, left out to the side. Well, get those bags back, cover them up, clean them up, turn them into uppercut bags, and then after a while, they'll be able to use to develop your power and your skill in your fight, okay? So, it's another tip for you, from me, and I hope you learned something. Again, if you have any questions, just write and ask me. 
Um, if you see this video on YouTube, if you could do me a favor and like the video, and that way I can get it to more people. You know, more people see the like, the more it's going to get out there. So that they can learn how to use something like this, you know, and some of the other stuff that we do in our other videos, okay? So this is Daniel Sombrano, and uh, I'll see you later, and we'll bring you some more information, and take care, and we'll see you later. Bye.